on this week's news update. A robotic turtle makes a splash. A space photography contest. And raising rare chameleons. First up, turtles use their flippers to swim in the sea and tortoises use their legs to walk on land. Now, engineers have developed a robot that can do both. The robot is designed so that its feet can change shape. When underwater, its feet turn into flippers. And when on land, they transform into legs. The robot's movements have been tested in a range of environments. On a beach, it was able to switch between walking and swimming. Engineers hope that the robot could one day help with scientific research along coastlines, moving around in conditions that would be too challenging for other robots. Next up, NASA and other space agencies use cutting-edge telescopes to capture stunning photos of space. Most of us don't have access to such high-tech equipment, but we can still take our own incredible photos of the stars. Recently, the winners of the 2022 Astronomy Photographer of the Year contest were announced, and the entries featured some dazzling photos. Some of the highlights included a unique view of the moon taken from Minnesota, the Milky Way appearing above a mountain range in China, and the northern lights shining over a forest in Canada. Do images like these inspire you to take photos of the stars? And finally, it's Animal Watch. Chameleons are colorful lizards that live across Africa. They can change the color of their skin to blend in with their environment. The Parsons chameleon is a rare species that can grow to the size of a cat. The large lizards live on the island of Madagascar, but habitat loss is threatening their survival. Now, a zoo in the United Kingdom has successfully bred several Parsons chameleons. The newborns measure just two centimeters long, and they are slowly getting to grips with life at the zoo. The infants are learning how to navigate narrow branches and how to catch food with their long, sticky tongues. Zookeepers hope that if the chameleons stay healthy, they could one day have youngsters of their own, helping the species to survive for many more years to come. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time.